Hi everyone, and welcome to this presentation on using Crate to represent the provenance of workflow executions. Let's start by defining provenance. By provenance, we mean information on how a physical or digital object was produced. For instance, this set of slides was produced by me using Google Slides in February 2023. In the case of an execution of a computational workflow, we are interested in things like what values were associated to the input and output slots, what outputs were produced, which tools were executed, when the execution started and ended, and so on. Some workflow management systems have the ability to provide part of this information, but this is typically in an unstructured format meant for human inspection rather than automated processing. This makes the information hard to reuse. Even when structured, reports are usually in a non-standard format and therefore not interoperable across different systems. This situation motivated the development of CWL-PROF, a standard to represent the execution of a workflow in a machine-readable format called Research Object Bundle. In CWL tool, you can generate a CWL prov description of a workflow run by using the dash dash provenance option and passing a name for the arrow bundle that will be produced. This generates a directory containing several other directories and files. The data directory contains a copy of all inputs, intermediate outputs and final outputs. The metadata directory contains information on the execution, which processes were run, when they started and ended, which data they manipulated, and so on. This is sometimes called retrospective provenance, while the workflow itself is referred to as prospective provenance, or the plan for what needs to be executed. The retrospective provenance files are different serializations of the same RDF graph that represents the relationships between the various entities and processes involved in the execution, according to an extension of the W3C prov standard. The workflow, on the other hand, is stored in CWL packed format, though the original user supplied files are still available in the snapshot directory. One problem with CWL prop is that the perspective and the retrospective provenance are stored in different files and with different formats. This makes it hard to map the plan to the execution. For instance, to map input and output slots to the entities that were actually used during the execution. Moreover, the perspective part is CWL specific which is an obstacle for interoperability with other workflow engines. In practice, as a matter of fact, CWL prop is only implemented in CWL tool. Another problem is a lack of flexibility due to the fact that it records the details of all tasks together with intermediate outputs. This might not be desirable depending on the use case or the specificities of the workflow engine. What I'm going to present here is an alternate method to capture the provenance of workflow executions called Workflow Run Arrow Crate, which has been developed by a working group that I am co-chairing. In this format, all metadata is concentrated into a single file, which links together the perspective and the retrospective provenance. Being based on the schema.org vocabulary, it is expressive enough to represent additional contextual information, such as workflow authors or related publications. It's flexible, allowing it to adapt to a broad range of use cases, and it's not engine specific, which makes it interoperable. In fact, it's already supported by several popular workflow engines. Workflow Run Arrow Crate is a specialization of Arrow Crate, a method for aggregating and describing data. 
It uses a single metadata file called aracratemetadata.json, which is placed at the top level of the crate directory, simply called crate. The context part sets global identifiers for the types and properties used in the metadata. The graph is a flat list of objects describing files and directories, as well as contextual entities such as people, organizations, or events. Entities are cross-referenced via their identifiers rather than nested. The entity with an ID of our create metadata.json is the AuroCrate metadata descriptor, whose presence is required to self-identify as an AuroCrate metadata document. Through the About property, the metadata descriptor points to the root dataset, which represents the crate itself and points to other files and directories via the HasPart property. Workflow Run AuroCrate defines a collection of AuroCrate profiles to capture the provenance of workflow executions. A profile is a set of additional constraints and recommendations on top of the base specification to guide the representation of objects related to a specific domain or use case. The process run create profile can be applied to any sequence of computational tool executions not necessarily orchestrated by a predefined workflow. The workflow run create profile builds on top of the previous one, but adds specifications to represent the running application as a computational workflow, mostly by inheriting the existing workflow array create profile. Provenance run create extends the previous one with specification on representing the internal details of the execution. Let's now take a look at the metadata of the process run crate. Here, for simplicity, I have omitted the outermost structure with the context and graph and listed only the entities. The main entity is the create action that represents the executed process. In this case, an image conversion. The instrument property points to a software application entity representing the tool used to perform the conversion, in this case, image magic. Finally, object and result point respectively to the inputs consumed by the process and to the outputs it produced. The profile also specifies how to represent other properties of the run, such as the agent that started it or whether an error occurred. Workflow run crate is similar to process run crate. In this case, however, the running application is represented as a computational workflow as specified in workflow array crate, a profile used to represent workflows. In particular, the workflow's input and output slots are represented as formal parameter instances based on the Bioschema's computational workflow profile. Bioschemas is an extension of schema.org for the life sciences. This diagram shows the interlinking between prospective and retrospective provenance. The action points to the workflow via the instrument property and the actions object, which represents the actual value taken by the parameter, points to the formal parameter via example of work. Formal parameter instances provide useful information such as whether a parameter is optional or has a default value. Provenance run crate extends workflow run crate with additional specifications to represent the internal details of the workflow run, such as the execution of individual tools and intermediate outputs. Tool executions are represented by additional create action instances, which refer to the executed tools via the instrument property. Tools are in turn references by the workflow by the has part property. The execution of the workflow engine, for instance, CWL tool, 
is represented by an organized action, which is further articulated into control action instances corresponding to step executions. The steps themselves are represented by how to step and are referenced by the workflow via the step property. The link between the retrospective and the prospective part is done through instrument and example of work individually for each tool. Especially for the development of the provenance run create profile due to its representation of the internals of the workflow run, we based our work on mapping up to our model what was represented by CWL prof. To drive this process, we developed a tool capable of converting a narrow bundle generated by CWL tool into a narrow crate. The tool, initially a standalone script, was later refactored to be part of a toolkit called RunCrate, which is planned to be enriched with additional functionality. For now, it allows to generate the provenance run crate for a CWL tool run. For the future, there is a plan to support our crate output directly in CWL tool. Support for the workflow run Arrowcrete profiles is already available in several systems. Streamflow, a workflow engine for hybrid architectures that uses CWL as the workflow language, the popular Galaxy platform, the COMS parallel programming framework, and WIFX and Sapporo which are two workflow execution services that use various engines under the hood. Future work for the project includes an, ex an extension of the profiles with specifications to describe software dependencies, resource requirements, and usage and the execution environment. We also want to extend the run crate toolkit, especially with functionality to consume crates conforming to the profiles. There are also plans to explore possible interactions with the GA4GH APIs for workflow and task execution. As I said earlier, the work described here has been done by the workflow run auto crate working group, which I am co-chairing. Here, you can find the link to the website for more information. That was all. Thank you for staying until the end.